Hello everyone. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about what is retesting in software testing. Okay. So in my previous video, I have already discussed about what is regression testing. And now today I am going to discuss about what is retesting. So first before giving, giving you all the details about what is retesting, I want to give you one very basic example so that you guys will be more understandable than that what is exactly retesting is happened. I mean, how the way or what we will test in that retesting. So let give me one simple example. Suppose, let's say this is one application. Okay, so we have these applications. Let's say this is a login form. Okay, so in this login form, there is one username, one password field, one login button, one forget password link, one create an account link. Okay. So, in retesting, suppose when we are te testing, suppose developer has developed this, developed this form and the developer has given that application or that module the test engineer. Now, let's say this module, after giving this module, this module, let's say version, they have released the version is 1.0. Okay, so developer has released this version. That means, Developer has developed this and it is given to that software tester. Now, on the version 1.0, the developer will, I mean, the tester will test that application. So, this is one new build. Okay, this is one new build that is given by the developer to the tester. Now, whenever any tester is testing that application, let's say he put the username. He put the password, now click on the login button. That is working perfectly fine. But unfortunately, whenever the tester is testing that forget password link, let's say this forget password link. So this forget password link is not working. Okay, so it's not working. That means that build, I mean the version 1.0 build, Whenever any test engineer is testing that application, forget password link is not working. Then what you will do? Now the tester will again revert back to the developer and he will tell the developer that there is something bug in your application. That is forget password is not working. So as per the uh, tester request, the developer will again fix that application. I mean fix that forget password link issue. And again, the developer will release the new build with, let's say, the version is, the second version is, one. let's say, 1.1. So, again, developer will create a new build after fixes, fixes that forget password link issue and he will release the new build as a version 1.0. So, what happened? So, the test engineer again test that forget password link with the same process. That means, what process the test engineer followed on the version 1.0. That same process the test engineer will follow for testing the forget password link on the version 1.0, 1.1. That means, the test engineer will again test that application with the same data, with the same scenario. So that is called a retesting. So we are testing, we means the test engineer. The test engineer is testing that issue again and again. That is called retesting. Retesting, again testing, right? So that is the main concept of retesting. Now, coming back to our main retesting definition. So what retesting says? Retesting is the testings of a particular bug after it has been fixed. Just I have already told you. We have to fix again test that application. I mean test that issue, test that bug. What bug? In this application, forget password link was not working. Right? So again, after fixation by the developer, the test engineer will again test that forget password link. That is retesting. So Retesting is testing of a particular bug after it has been fixed. So usually tester raise the bug when they find it while testing the product or its component. 
right so this bug is assigned to a developer and he fixes it so post fixing the bug is assigned to the tester for its verification means again testing means suppose in the version 1.0 the forget password link is not working so developer fix it and after fixation by the developer they have released the new module or new build with the version 1.0 so in that 1.1 sorry 1.1 so again the test engineer will test that forget password link in version 1.1 for its verification that after fixation by the developer the forget password link is perfectly working fine or not that we have to test that is called the retesting okay so here is some key points that i have already noted for you that retesting is done by replicating the same scenario with the same data in new build that's what i have already told you so retesting is done by replicating the same scenario with the same data in a new build that means we have to test that the new build which is version let's say the version is 1.1 so that is what retesting is done by replicating the same scenario with same data in the new build now key point 2 in retesting those test cases are included which were failed earlier so we have to test the retesting or like in the retesting suppose uh, which is the fail test cases so in this application the fail test case is one that forget password link is not working so in the retesting we have to check only the forget password link that means we can say in a simple word simple word that retesting is based upon the fail test cases okay so we have to do the retesting based upon the failed test cases right now key point three retesting ensure that the issue has been fixed and it's working as expected right same for in the version 1.0 the forget password link was not working now after fixation by the developer in the version 1.1 we have to test that forget password link and we have to make sure that it is working perfectly fine or not right now key point four it is a planned testing with proper steps of verification because uh, we know that is the plan testing because the same scenario we have tested in the previous build and the same build in the uh, same scenario we have to test with the new build that's why it's a plan testing now key points next key point key point five when a bug is raised and is rejected by the developer saying that is not recreatable in their environment then this case also the tester do the retesting of the bug to ensure that whether it is a genuine bug or not suppose what it mean suppose we are testing that applications okay so we are putting all the details for the username password click on login button is working perfectly fine now in the forget password link suppose in the forget password link is not working so as a test engineer we have raised the bug to the developer obviously when developer will fix that he will test that yes exactly the forget password link is working or not so suppose that developer is unable to reproduce that yes the forget password link is working or not let's say developer is unable to reproduce that he didn't find any type of error on that forget password link so that time developer will tell the tester that i am not unable to reproduce the bug so what will be what will happen in that scenario the test engineer retest that forget password link that yes what the test engineer is raised so that bug is in really is working fine or not the bug is exist or not so that time test engineer will do the retesting that's why I am telling that when a bug is raised and rejected by the developer and saying that it's a not recreatable or not reproducible in their environment means developer environment then in this case also the tester do the retesting of the bug to ensure that whether it's a genuine bug or not now next in some cases 
the entire module is required to be retested to ensure the quality of the module. Sometimes may happen for the quality purpose, uh, the test engineer will retest the entire module. Okay. The next, the test cases of retesting cannot be automated. Make sure and remember guys, for the whenever you will do the automation, for the retesting, automations will not happen. Okay, we cannot do automation or we cannot do any type of automation on the retesting test cases. It's the most important thing that we have to know that the test cases of retesting cannot be automated. So now you are very much clear about what is retesting and what is the key points of retesting. Now coming to the next point that when to use retesting. When will you use retesting? First point, it is used to verify the specific bug or issues. That's a, that's the common thing, right? So we use to verify when we use retesting. We will do the retesting to verify for the specific bug or issue. Second one is it is also used to confirm to developer that the issue is valid and recreatable. So that's why you will do the retesting. The same thing I have already uh, mentioned in that point. When the bug raises, when the bug is raised and detected by the developer saying that is not creatable in their environment and then the case of, and the, in this case also the tester do the retesting of the bug to ensure whether it's a genuine or, genuine bug or not. The same thing is happening here when we use retesting. It is also used to confirm to developer that the issue is valid and recreatable. Now next point is that it is used to test even the entire module or component in order to confirm the expected functionality. We have to test the entire module okay, in order to confirm the expected functionality that is working perfectly fine or not. Okay. Now next point is that it is used to check the quality of any particular feature or component or module of an application. Suppose, make a real time example. Suppose you are doing some handwriting. Okay. So first time you have written something in your, in your board. Okay. So you are just practicing the handwriting. We always know that. Suppose we have written something on the board and that time the handwriting is not good, not looking good. So if we daily practice it, again and again practice it, so in a one day, your handwriting will be genuine and it is good looking, right? That means, as we already know that, as we already know that, practice make a man perfect. Same thing is applied for retesting. If we retesting or if we do retest on any bug or any applications or any module, that means, we can achieve a great quality of a product because we are testing the same thing again, 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 right? So it will give us some good quality product. That's why it is used to check the quality of any particular feature or component or module of an application. Now, when to use retesting? Next point is that when a client call for retesting, sometimes it's happened that Client may ask the test engineer that can you please do some retesting for me for the better quality. So obviously that time the test engineer will do the retesting. So now these are the key points of when to use retesting or when you will go for retesting. Now what are the advantages of retesting? Obviously there is some advantage like it confirms that the issue is fixed and working as expected. Okay, now it improves the quality of the applications of product that I've already told you. And the third, it requires less time for verification because is limited to the specific issues for any particular feature. It will take less time because just retesting, we have to test, we, have, we are not testing in the retesting, we are not testing the whole functionality on the version 1.1. We are testing only the forget password link which was failed on the version 1.0. Got it? So, in the version 1.0, we have to test the full application. And when we are testing the full application, the forget password link is not working in the version 1.0. So, we have raised that bug to the developer and developer 
is fix that forget password link. So in the version 1.1, which is uh, just uh, uh, created by the developer, okay. So in the version 1.1, what we will test? We will not gonna test the full application. Make sure we will just test that forget password leak. That means which is failed on the version 1.0. That particular issue we have to test on the version 1.0. That's why it, the retesting is taking the less time. Okay. Great. Now. It doesn't require any new environment setup. Because why it's. Why it doesn't require any new environment setup? Because we are testing the same applications issue. Right? So that's why no need to uh, create a new environment setup. And retesting is done with the same data and same environment with the new build. That's what I have already discussed. Retesting is done in the same environment. I mean same environment with the same data. In a new build. Because why new build? Because the old build. In the previous build. That is fixed. That issue is fixed by the developer. And developer has created a new build. Right. So these are the most advantages of the retesting. Okay. Now what are the disadvantages of retesting? Disadvantage of the retesting means. First it requires new build for verifications of the product. Of the defect. Every time whenever we will go for the retesting. So every time we need a new build. Because the in the old build the issue was there. So if we check the old build. So the same issue we will again raise. I mean we will again found the same issue. So that's why for the retesting purpose we require a new build for the every time. First, second point is that once the testing is started, then only the test cases of retesting can be obtained and not before that. Whenever the testing is started, then only the test cases of retesting can be obtained, not before that. Only that time, the retesting time, the test cases can be obtained. Okay. Now, third point is that the test cases for retesting cannot be automated. That's what I have already told you in the key points of retesting. That the test cases of retesting cannot be automated. So that is the disadvantages of retesting. For the automation purpose, we cannot go for the retest. I mean, for the retesting test cases, we, we can't do the automation. Right? And the last point is that it re retesting requires an additional effort and time because of the re-executions of the failed test cases. Obvious. So, in the first, suppose this is a version 1.0. In the version 1.0, if all application is passed, that means there is no need for the version 1.0. As in the version 1.0, forget password link is not worked. So, that's why new version is come. That is version 1.1. Okay, so we have to test that forget password link again. So that's why it also a time consuming process or it will take some addi additional effort and time because of the re-executions of the failed test cases. This is the disadvantage of retesting. So now guys, you are very much clear about what is retesting, when we go for retesting, what is the real time example of retesting. Now. What is the advantage of retesting and disadvantage of retesting? So if you guys have any doubt, please comment me. And if you guys like my video, one thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel EduPad and click on the bell icon. So you guys can get my video update first. See you in the next video with some interesting topic of software testing. Thank you.